Hello to the city elders of the Tulsa metropolitan area and beyond. I'm coming to you this evening from Denver, Colorado. The last couple of days we've been up in the mountain area around Colorado Springs, a, a town called uh, Woodland Park, where Karis Bible Institute and Training Center is. We've been meeting with the um, uh, Colorado Coalition, a group, a gathering, a coalition of ministries from largely around the Colorado Springs area, but actually across the state of Colorado. And so uh, that initiative is being led by uh, Andrew Walmack, Richard Harris, uh, Mark Coward is involved, and others. And so um, we were there on Friday. And uh, just want to let you know, an FYI, uh, a heads up, that we've asked uh, Andrew to be one of our conference speakers uh, in our annual conference in January. This past January, we had uh, our national launch with uh, James Robison. This coming January, it'll be Andrew Walmack and others that we are inviting. I won't uh, put their names out there until we have confirmations from them. Andrew has confirmed that he'll come. Uh, it'll be a matter of working out schedules. And so we're looking forward to that. It's been a great time. I'm looking forward to getting home um, on Sunday. And so, wow, what have these last several weeks at City Elders been? Just incredible atmosphere, the presence of the Lord palpable, the anointing of the Holy Spirit strong, and the impartation. Uh, the Lord is preparing us and equipping us and positioning us. Folks, we are moving into a season of uh, fully activated divine providence and supernatural activity. Um, just to mention quickly, although we don't rejoice in uh, Ruth uh, Bader Ginsburg uh, passing away yesterday, and um, um, and and we, our condolences obviously go to the family, uh, and at the same time we rejoice uh, with the possibilities of. Uh, shifting and flipping this Supreme Court toward righteousness and uh, toward justice and judgment and equity. And uh, then we rejoice in the fact that uh, the judiciary across the nation, we've mentioned this before, nearly 300, approaching 300 federal judge appointments under this administration, all vetted by the Heritage Foundation. And so the trickle down has not had its effect, its full effect yet, but it will. Shifting the judiciary, the landscape, the horizon of the nation. Remember, folks, iniquity, systemic iniquity, entered in through the judiciary. Engel versus Vitale, Roe versus Wade, Hodges versus Obergefell. That's how this cycle of pervasive iniquity was opened up and the nation blanketed. Well, the prayer and intercession has worked. 2016, the pendulum swung, and now the entire landscape of the judiciary has changed across the nation, and it will continue to change. And now to the fountainhead, the Supreme Court. And now this could possibly flip the court, and then there could be more appointments in the next uh, administrative cycle. So you have much to rejoice about, but I believe it's just the beginning. You see, when, when, the, um, when the intercession had reached that place where the vial of heaven was full and the Lord answered and the precipitation of the intercession that rose up came down in rain, um, God changed the whole nation in the Old Testament. And so I'm believing not only for an awakening, but for a kingdom reformation. That's the title of the fourth book that I'm writing right now in the Training for Reigning series. And my heart is so stirred. And so if you're wondering what all this confusion and cacophony and chaos that's taking place in major cities across the nation, the looting, the burning, the killing, the rioting, it is a backlash against what God is doing, but it's pathetic. It's pitiful. You can't fight against God. Oh, you can. <laughs> you can fight against him, but it won't turn out well for you. 
And uh, so uh, we are moving. The kingdom of God is advancing. Do not be confused about what's going on. The kingdom of God is forcefully advancing in the United States of America. And so we've got some great things. I'm already into five minutes. We've got some great things coming up. Do not miss this opportunity to be equipped this coming Thursday evening, September the 24th with Mark Harris at the Tulsa Marriott Southern Hills. Uh, go to cityelders.com, click on events, and then click on the CIT training logo or, or icon. And at the bottom right, there's two options. You have to click on the bottom, the number where it says pastor plus four. You have to click on that. There's an option to register as an individual. So we want everyone, if you've been coming, if you've been attending regularly or even semi-regularly, this is a very important meeting for you to get CIT teams trained to establish the ministries in local congregations it will it will shift our the Tulsa metroplex and beyond the state of Oklahoma so please please register uh, if you happen to be at a budgetary crunch time and you're just not able to or it's really pressing you there have been some gracious donors that have um, committed to paying the way for individuals who are not able to. So if you will go to cityelders at gmail.com, send an email and say, like to come under a budget crunch. Um, and so, but we'd still like to attend. Send that email. We'll make a way for you to attend. Uh, and so do your best and make an extra call to your pastor and invite them. Make sure they get invited. Okay. Now I'm glad I spoke this past week because we have three weeks of guest speakers. We have uh, Mark Harris coming from uh, Washington, D.C., the Family Research Council for the CIT training. Then the first uh, Thursday of October, our evening meal meeting is um, Alex Newman. Uh, he's a tremendous writer, a journalist, and he has spoke spoken for us before and powerful. You will be stirred uh, and uh, there will be an impartation in that meeting. Then the second Thursday of October, we have Sheriff Vic uh, Rigolato that will be with us, uh, Tulsa County Sheriff, as well as other police forces and other uh, civil servants. We've got a great program uh, planned for you uh, for city elders on uh, the second Thursday of October. So, great things happening. Um, let me just say, and I know I've got to get off of here, I want to keep these things short, but the uh, pendulum is swinging and the conflict because of the convergence of the kingdom of God, there's a conflict going on. When you take territory from the adversary, there's going to be a dust-up. There's going to be <laughs> a cacophony. There's going to be a fit thrown. It's like taking the, um, the goods away from a thief. They're not going to give them up easily, and they're going to throw a fit and do everything they can to keep you from it. But if you have the gun and the badge... If you have the power and the authority uh, to take the possessions away from the thief, he can fuss and squirm and scream and holler all he wants, uh, but you still just forcefully advance and keep taking territory. And that's the season we're moving into. And so um, I'll be back on Sunday evening. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Uh, so don't forget to get registered for Thursday night. It's going to be powerful. Blessings. Love you. Bye-bye.